One of them's six foot seven, the other's four foot two. <laughs> but they're both giants of the comedy world. You couldn't write it. It's Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. <laughs> Have you back and that welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, yeah, am I like... in the right place? Oh, yeah, so, anywhere yeah, you happy want. There? All right, good, all right. Yeah, of course, fine. you are. It's Alan Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink? Oh. oh, what is it though? Is it this is like a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> is that champagne? <laughs> yeah, no, what is it? <laughs> lady, sparkling Perry. Yeah, that's that's butch. And um, what else have we got? And um, Leapfrau Mild. Oh, you're so common. <laughs> Goldschlager. What's that? <laughs> Cinnamon schnapps. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I just got hit by a tooth. Sorry. <laughs> well, you... Have a pink lady. What do you like? I'll, I, I, I would Can love a pink lady. Yeah, pink lady. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> really. <laughs> no. Any lady would be fine. <laughs> Any lady. There you go. Oh, thank you. Is that for him? You know, you've lost a lot of weight. Thank you. How Tell me a secret. Steroids and AIDS. They'll definitely cut that. Particularly if you say where you got the AIDS from. <laughs> from a glass uh, of pink lady. Yeah, they cut it in. They cut it in. Uh, lots of work, Alan. <laughs> Fat burning and lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> No, how really have you? Have you been eating healthily? Um, yeah, I've been working out. I've been, um, oh. yeah, trying to... Uh, I suppose I hit that age. Like, um, I got fatter, steadily fatter, from about 29 to about 48, and I thought, this is... It's never going to end. I'm going to yeah. burst. Yeah. If I keep, if I keep going yeah. up, I did a graph. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I just thought, no, that's enough is enough. Oh. Was you worried about his weight gain? I was worried about him losing weight if I'm honest, because yeah. I've always thought that the fatter he is, the funnier he is. <laughs> and, you know, I very much, I've, yeah. you know, I've hitched my wagon to this particular fat horse. And, um, <laughs> and, and I, um, you know, and... See, I would like to just milk him for, say, another ten years, and then yeah, he could have a yeah. massive heart attack, but by that time... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When, when he says milk me, that's not an English. <laughs> <word. laughs> He doesn't, he's never milked me. Yeah. It's not that sort of relationship. Yeah, clarify that now. Yeah, you exactly, have not yeah. been milked no. by Stephen Merchant. Never, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. That, yeah. Sorry, are we, are we talking about wanking or...? No. Sorry, I'm confused. I was confused. Stephen, oh, the tea. I'm sorry, I... You've had one sip of pink lady not... and you get all like that. <laughs> I mean, you always work together. Do you ever go on holiday together? Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can you imagine that? Oh, it would be horrible. Just think of the pictures. Me looking pretty cool and sort of tanned. Buff. Now and buff. buff, yeah. Buff. And the thing, naked, he looks like one of those baby fish. You can actually see through his body. <laughs> He's a mate. Yeah. 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 And yeah. not everything is in proportion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a letdown. Yeah, oh. it's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mine's tiny, but you'd expect that, wouldn't you? I know, but sure. mine's Yours it's is embarrassing. Yeah. No, it's oh, it's Christ. humiliating. And it's uh, it's annoying because everything you know, I mean I've got the glasses, you know, like you, the eyesight's not working, got the bad skin, the asthma. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like give me a break somewhere along yeah. the line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, but no, no, no. No, no, no. gold. How's yours? What's the situation down there? Oh, it's, 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 uh, well, it's, it's a bit like a slug on two cherry tomatoes. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. I read somewhere that you've only got six friends. Is that true? <laughs> and I'm uh, basically, I'm not surprised. No, why are you, why are you talking to him? <laughs> no, my point was that I've kept my sort of old friends. I, I you know, I, um... Uh, it was a do the like, I don't really do this to be popular. You know, you've got your, if you've got well, your friends. Well, that's working. <laughs> 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 no, if you've got your friends, it doesn't matter because yeah. people think they know you, but you don't. If you keep worrying about 
how you come across. That's yeah. your that's your reputation, but your character is what you really are. And I just said, yeah. you know, all you need is six good friends, and I, and yeah. I believe that. I think that's all you you know really need. Yeah. Two, real, real close friends. That's all you need. Would you consider him in one of your friends? Is he one yeah. of the six? Seventh. The seventh. <laughs> To be honest, I because I got about two hundred friends, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I, you know, and I uh, mostly superficial. And uh, <laughs> I had a party recently, my birthday party. I did invite Ricky, thirty fifth birthday party, and I said, um, do, do you remember I did invite you? I seem to remember. Yeah, you still he still invites me. Still invites. He's never turned up to any of my parties. He's oh. never come to my house. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. right. Look, right. the point is this, right? He started inviting me to parties when we first met. But when we first met, he was 22 and I was 35. So he's just like discovering hip hop and parties, and I'm discovering I've got a favourite chair. So of course I said, <laughs> it's like a bit weird, a middle aged man hanging around with a gangly 22 yeah. year old. He looked about 10 yeah. as well, <laughs> like a bean pole. It with did make look like a paedophile when we went walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Particularly when you were holding my hand. <laughs> I was scared of London when I first moved to London. Yeah. He you held your hand because you were scared of London. I was London. scared of London. I Terrifying. didn't hold his fucking hand. Of course I didn't. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, God, imagine that. He meets me. I, I go, come on, he's 22. <laughs> well, I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship. Well, we actually met when I offered him a job. On XFM, I went to work for this local radio station and they said, oh, you can have an assistant. And um, his was a CV at first. It was Top of the pile. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And I went, yeah, that'll do. But he was sort of the sensible one because I was doing this job and I was sort of blagging. I was a bit of a slob. Um, uh, you mean you were? <laughs> no, I got better now, haven't I? Um, and uh, when we were right in the office, he'd often sort of wake me up and say, come on, we've got to work. And um, I remember very often in the BBC canteen, he'd say, Rick, don't have three jumbo sausages, you'll fall asleep again. <laughs> not, yeah. That's not a partner, that's a carer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have to monitor him. I'm like, you know, I am like a carer in that way. You yeah, know, I, yeah. he, he will, he won't eat properly. Like when we, you remember when we were at the Golden Globes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we were on the way there. We are in a stretch limousine. Oh, nice. On the way to the Golden Globes. It's a pretty glamorous affair because the movie stars are there as well. Yeah. And uh, we're there, we're all tucked up, you know, looking good, you know, and uh, he goes, I'm feeling peckish. And I was furious with him because I told him to eat before we came out. Do you know what I mean? I, I said yeah, to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're in true. the... He makes the limousine pull yeah. over yeah. into, like, a petrol station, <laughs> right? <laughs> um... And he goes inside he, to get something to eat. He comes back with a giant bag of what they call Cheetos or Cheetos. They're yeah. like what's easy what's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he's just eating a big bag Not of what's it? So orange dust all over his face. <gasps> but I didn't know. Was... <laughs> Listen, it was really and horrible you get the fingers as well, was, They you? were literally they were glowing Tongue. orange. My toe <laughs> and also they were all in my teeth. It was just orange. And so we stopped and they said we're getting out now. And I went, oh my god. And I was I was rubbing my teeth like that. I was putting my hand in the ice bucket with a champagne. Yeah. In the car, right? And I was trying to get it all off, right? I had a bit of tissue trying to clean <laughs> it off his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, you got yeah. done it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was just horrible. And um, and in front of us were the desperate housewives. Desperate housewives were getting up. There's no way that was going on in that car. <laughs> no. no yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Terry Hatcher is picking a bit of twiglet out of <laughs> even the ball of his teeth. Although they were orange all over. They were all yeah. orange. <laughs> Cemetery Junction, which is out yeah. on DVD later yes. this month. It's yeah. about you uh, growing up in. Yeah, it's no, 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 it's not about you. It's sort no, of no. It's everything love you letter, do is it? sort of semi-autobiographical, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. Uh, um, but um, I suppose it is a bit of a love letter to England, and um, yeah. uh, it, it's it's uh, you know our memories of what it was like growing up in a in a small sort of working class town, and, and you know the, the family members are sort of. I mean, the mum and the nan is based yeah. on my mum and nan. And they became the same person anyway. It yeah. was just like that lineage. And um, there's a line in it that my mum said to me um, when I was 18. I said, I'm going to France, just for the day it was. And um, she went, what do you want to go there for? There's parts of Reading you ain't seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so sweet. Yeah. But I like them, they just, they just speak what's on their mind. They say, yeah. I remember I went to university and I came back and I opened the door, mum opened the door and she went, oh, bloody hell, Rick, you're in half fat. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, it's awful. I know, isn't it? yeah, yeah. But I, I, that. I like that. I like that sort of that sweet sort of straight talking honesty. And yeah. um, I suppose we left that veil of irony behind that we had with the office. This was, 
Yeah, it's you know, more straight down the line. You know, it's dramatic, I think. It's sort of, we've described it as like a feel-good drama. There is humour in there, and there's laughs in it, but yeah. also we wanted to, you know, hopefully to make it quite moving, in a way, you know, and, uh, and maybe even bring a tear to the eye. I don't know if it did towards the end Oh, for you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was it's quite sweet, you, I think. Yeah, well, I won't yeah. say what at the end, but, yeah. We've got a clip from Cemetery Junction. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I remember that. I remember that day. We shot that um, just outside, I think it was Shepperton or... Pinewood, was it? Mm -hmm. the, the studio. But it was on a public highway. We had to put a billboard up. So every now and again, this like women with children would just walk past and look at it oh. and go, what's going on here? And I'd hide and they'd say, it's just a film. They go, who's in the film? They go, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know. No, how can that mama... is a knob gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a subtle film. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like people don't draw cock and balls as graffiti anymore, do they? I don't. I, this um, reminds me of when I was a kid. It came from when I was about um, uh, 14 or 15. I remember we were in French class. And um, do you ever do sort of thing where you used to put the headphones on and they'd say something in French, you had to say it back, yeah. right? And the teacher found out that people were just swearing on it. And he went mental and he got people out. He's going, I'm sick of this. You don't want to learn. He went, and also these exercise books. Look at this. And he goes, you. All right, and he got this kid out. He went, look at that, your exercise book. What's that? And this bloke had drawn a, like a penis with a, like a big... Like, <laughs> and he went, what's that? And he went, it's a snail, sir. Right? <laughs> and he went, it's not a snail, is it? It's a penis. He went, and what's this? And he'd drawn this uh, classic knob with yeah. bollocks and wings, right? And he went, oh, look, a penis with wings. What's that? And he went, Dicky Bird <laughs> and the <laughs> 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 Cemetery Junction. It's out at the end of this month on DVD. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Stephen Merchant, Ricky Gervais. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That was so great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Minnie Driver and, of course, Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. <laughs>